try not to say the word autumnal. Hello there. Welcome to another Wine with Tweedy video. I'm at my second favourite sitting at the base of a tree spot on the heath. I sometimes slightly prefer this because I can just about get a glimpse of the setting sun. There's not really much to see, it's a bit cloudy through the trees. I have with me today some Nuit Saint-Georges. This is a 2017 vintage. It is from a producer called Domaine de Belen. It's a vieille vine, so it comes from old vines. On the back actually has some technical information, which is quite unusual. So we can tell when harvest happened, that was September 2017, and all sorts of facts you're probably not particularly interested in aged in French oak barrel. 50% new French oak barrels. It has gone through 100% malolactic fermentation. No fining, no filtration. Bottled February 2019. Blah, 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 blah. Has one of these sort of semi-wax caps on the top. Now, this isn't often talked about. You may have noticed sometimes wine bottles, particularly from Burgundy, occasionally have this kind of full wax coating over the top. The reason for this in the winemaking process is it's a signal from the producer of the wine to the customer that they should spend more money on the bottle of wine. That is its sole purpose, as far as I can tell. It does make opening bottles a tiny bit more difficult, but I'll, I'll get on with that. I have a little mat underneath me that I'm sitting on, sort of ground sheet, so that will catch any stray flecks of wax. I won't be leaving anything in the woods, I assure you. So I normally just plunge straight through the wax with these wax seals. I honestly find them a little bit of a nuisance. I really don't think they serve any particular purpose but I'm sure a winemaker would tell you otherwise. A winemaker that uses these would tell you otherwise. Right, so I've nicely trapped all the little bits of wax that inevitably came off there on my little ground sheet here. Oh, and usually that means I get a bit of cork or a bit of wax in the wine. Mmm, a good start. Nice, fresh, pure cherry. I've had an unfortunate run, it seems, recently of Nuit Saint Georges that aren't doing what I probably incorrectly think they should be doing and providing me with very pure fruit expression. I keep banging on about this, but that is there straight away this time, so already happy. Nice, fresh, clean cherry on the nose. Great, that's a very good start. And that nice, clean fruit is continuing onto the palate relatively subtle tannins, a tiny, tiny sort of peppery flourish at the end there. Doing what I think a Nuit Saint-Georges should be doing. How can I say concentrated, but also not particularly heavy. That seems to be a contradiction in terms. Concentrated, but light, that doesn't make sense either, does it? Those things seem to pull in opposite directions. I mean, there is a sort of fruity richness in there as well. Oh, that's that's really good. That That is what I want from a Nuit Saint-Georges. It's, I would say this is, you know, similar to Philippe Gavigny's excellent sort of fruit purity Nuit Saint-Georges, which is probably where I've got this idea that Nuit Saint-Georges ought to be all about pure fruit expression because that's his style of wine and that's the uh, producer I've had most of from Nuit Saint-Georges. This was another wine from Bon Coeur Fine Wines. Sadly it was a short-lived special offer and or some of those wines have now sold out but you know it's indicative of the sort of thing you can get from those guys who I think, uh, as I've said before in some previous videos, I think they're actually pretty good at comparatively reasonably priced Burgundy. This came in at £36.96, which is a weird price. I think because it was some percent off, 10%, 20%, I can't remember. Not sure it's any longer available there when I checked on my phone just now, it seems they may have sold out, but um, I think for a village level Nuit Saint-Georges of a particularly good vintage 2017, which I've enjoyed across all of the Cote de Nuit, uh, that is absolutely ready to drink now, in very good condition, and a really nice, I think, expression of Nuit Saint-Georges, which is doing the things I kind of want out of it. I think 37 quid is a bargain for that. Really quite pleased with that.